Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be very savoury and all about the burger. So there's a place in London called Bleecker Burger. Their burgers are incredible as it is. But today, for one day only, they've got George Moss, who is essentially a burger god. So if you haven't heard of him before, he's um, this guy in America. He's got Moss's Burgers and he has essentially written loads of books about burgers. He's done shows about burgers and his burgers are meant to be insane. So for one day, he's coming to Bleecker Burger to serve up and dish up his famous Oklahoma fried onion burger. Super simple, smashed patties with fried onions. I believe there's gonna be a bit of American cheese in there as well. Sounds like it's gonna be incredible. Um, I'm expecting cues, but hopefully they'll be worth it. Uh, so let's go give George Motts and Bleecker Burger collab a go. absolutely insane um, got here early and it's just going on for miles but they're now cooking up some burgers just been in and seen George Mox flipping them and they look amazing smoke coming off the grill uh, so now just to sit and wait for it to arrive <laughs> Burger has uh, just arrived. It looks absolutely epic. It's got uh, George Mox's face stamped into the top. Um, patty looks nicely smashed up. Um, feels absolutely boiling hot. The burger bun feels really soft. Get some little pickles and stuff on the side as well. And I also got a pot of ketchup. Um, but feel like it's only right to kind of honour it in its true form first without anything else added to it looked absolutely epic as they were making a kind of like big meatball kind of um, mounds put up on the grill which were then smashed down with loads of fried onions and things as well so the fried onions are actually smashed into the patty which is what makes this the Oklahoma fried onion burger so rather than smashing the beet and then adding the onions separately they're all cooked together um, so I'm finished with a bit of um, American cheese and then put into this incredibly soft squishy looking bun so let's give it a go burger is good um buns really really soft and um, the meat is perfectly seasoned and you've got that really nice fried onion flavor to it you can smell all of the onions cooking from kind of the restaurant and um, just kind of like wafting out here i can't believe how busy it is i haven't seen a queue like this for ages but um definitely worth the wait the outside of the meat is so lovely and charred and the onions are kind of like caramelized in there and the cheese is all melty, it's so good, but I'm gonna pimp it up now. I'm gonna put some pickles and some ketchup on that. You can see all the fried onions underneath of that smashed patty as well. Put some uh, pickles in there. Slather. some ketchup all over it. Just pimped it up with some pickles and some ketchup. Um, so as you can see, now stuff full. So gonna give it a go. Now it's been pickle and ketchup pie. Messy. Really good. So look at all of that fried onion. Cheese goodness. The bun is so soft and squishy as well. Just kind of all melts in the mouth. Pickles add a nice bit of acidity and things to it as well. Um, I know some people are purists, but I, I want to kind of add a bit of extra in there too. I love how smashed this patty is as well. I think it's one of the kind of flattest, almost minced beef style patties I've had before. Where it's almost like a Philly cheesesteak where the cheese is almost melted into it. Look at how ooey and gooey that is. Yeah. <laughs> 
loads of lovely uh, stringy fried onion as well. I can't believe that I managed to stumble across this. It was a complete fluke. I didn't realise um, they was coming. I saw it on Instagram today and was like, yeah, gotta go try that. I definitely um, prefer my burgers smashed like this as well rather than really big and meaty. They just go down so much easier. The quality of the meat tastes so much better. What are you, um, team thick or team thin on burger? George is um, coming out in intervals as well to like sign books and take photos and things for people. Um, such a cool kind of vibe down here. It's so busy, loads of food lovers. It's coming to try some burgers um, and enjoy it. up at Bleecker and George Mox's burger. Um, I have never seen a queue like it to be honest. Um and that is the end of the queue. Wow. Um, went to Franklin's barbecue when I was in Austin and we had to queue for a while but I have never seen a queue of this length at all in my time of queuing for good food. I'm so glad I got down here early. Um, kind of like walking back, they said there's well over 200 people in the queue waiting now. It's insane and when I was um, in the inside watching George flip up some burgers, there were some people there that travelled all the way from Malta to come and try his burger. So super fortunate that I live in London and it wasn't too much of a trek for me because there's some people that have made a long journey for that burger. Um, safe to say it was incredible, um, probably going to be a food memory um, that will last for quite a while and it's definitely one thing that's ticked off the bucket list, that's for sure. Um, really hope you enjoyed the video, um, I love trying that burger. Um, if you did like the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.